Our next speaker is a lawyer and former Australian and British Army officer. Major McBride was the whistleblower who provided evidence for war crimes in Afghanistan to the ABC. It takes integrity and courage to be a whistleblower. They're rarely celebrated and more often vilified and imprisoned. Today we have some good news because David McBride has been awarded the Blueprint International Whistleblower Award. It's my pleasure to introduce David McBride. I might have to take this out. Karaoke style. I think it, 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 there's not much that hasn't been said. I may as well do a bit of comedy. When I was over in Western Australia, I got some tips from uh, Mark Jacko Jackson, who said that I was a bit stiff and that I should walk around to engage the crowd a bit more. But he, uh, I might, if I ever get out of jail, uh, I might be doing a tour with him, I guess. But one of the uh, messages I've got is from our uh, Foreign Minister, Penny Wong. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know she says she's gonna be putting sanctions on those bad countries around the world that don't honour human rights. <laughs> Good on you, Penny. You're an idiot. And I've got another myth, and that's not bad enough, from uh, Mark Dreyfus, who wants to uh, particularly honour, uh, is it Human Rights Day? Because he's working day and night to make sure people in government, if they see something wrong, can go to their supervisor and tell them about it. And if the supervisor doesn't do anything, they can go to the media. Good on you, Mark. The same guys trying to put me in jail for a hundred years. I mean, they are pathetic. They really are pathetic. Uh, it, there isn't, I would not take anything the Albanese government uh, say seriously. I'm afraid it, 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 it's, it's a sad truth. I don't know what the Americans have got on them, but in the one, yeah, it's, you know, they have committed to unlimited US troops, unlimited US troops in Australia. We are now just a US base. Uh, an Australian, uh, the American troops can commit crimes. They, they will not be uh, prosecuted under Australian law. Um, and at the same time, they are pretending that, that somehow uh, they care about human rights. Now, if we are aligned with the world's greatest abuser of international law and human rights, uh, we can't support human rights at the same time. Uh, you don't protect Australian sovereignty by giving up Australian sovereignty. It would have been, it, it, it would have been uh, a fantasy uh, 10 years ago, but it's quite, the good news is, I mean, I've got a lot of bad news for you to have to tell you that we are owned by the Americans and I've seen the documents. But the good news is people like David Shoebridge um, the next election could see the Labor Party clean out because what, if you believe in the Labor Party principles, you would not vote for Albanese and his next time. They will be cleaned out. And people like David Shoebridge one day may be running this government. We might finally have an Australian government who actually stands up for Australia and actually says, we'll protect ourselves, thank you very much. I mean... We all know Donald Trump was a bit mad and we know Biden's a bit mad. Imagine who they're going to have as president in 2040 or in 2090 and guess who's going to be making decisions for Australia? Mike yeah, Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo's son. Mike Pompeo on steroids. I mean, they get madder each year. They will be directing us and we don't get to vote in their elections. We don't have a defence force anymore. We can't go anywhere without American helicopters. We can't go anywhere um, 
We are just a division, not even a division. We are a brigade uh, in the US Army and we go wherever they tell us to. Uh, and that is a disgrace. That's actually treason. They put me on trial for treason. Um, but that is treason. Anyway, the good news, and I'll end now, the good news is you guys are on the right side of history. It makes no sense that Daniel Ellsberg is a hero and Julian Assange is a criminal. I mean, Albanese knows that in his heart. He's going to look like an idiot. He's going he's to be the sort of Billy McMahon, the Harold Holt. He's going to be remembered as a goose who just lay down for the Americans. And it's such a shame, he could have been a contender. And all he had to do was say no. The hardest word for the Labor Party. You guys, on the other hand, will be heroes. You guys will remember uh, being here day in, day out, winter, summer, uh, obviously vilified a lot of the time, but you guys have a lot to be proud of. When I'm in jail, which is likely gonna happen because the Americans want it to happen, um, and Albanese can't say no to the Americans. Uh, you people will always make me smile and, and you people have got a lot to be proud of and, and Julian, I'm sure, will thank you. So thank you. <laughs>